and sort of a tense nail biting back and forth game how would you describe the feel of this one tonight uh that it was it was it was fun um guys competed really well obviously you know down a few guys um you know Masso's big going getting six for us there um you know, and, and definitely thought he got tired in there a little bit in the last inning. I thought we made some really big plays on defense, um, kind of all around. You know, you, you go all around Hicks, Giancarlo uh, up against the wall, Judge throwing the guy out, Urshela, a lot of really good plays. Luke, um, you know, and, and we made some plays that, you know, allowed us to win the game. Uh, obviously, the home run ball, and um, we... Uh, Got it done. It was it was a great effort by by everyone. Kind of contributing a little bit. A couple of big hits by Stan, and both of those at bats. It seemed like he had some key takes on some nasty off speed, sort of setting up those hits. What'd you see from him in those at bats? Yeah, I saw that. I mean, those are tough at bats too. I mean, Miley Miley was really tough on us. Uh, I thought command wise with the cutter and the change up, um, you know, to get us on the board there, and then Presley. I mean, that's about as tough a draw as you're going to have right there. And to get get into a really good count and, and smoke a ball, um, big at-bats by him. And uh, I hope everyone takes notice of that. Randy, you, you said this last week. It was not a measuring stick, but you guys beat Tampa three in a row. You beat Houston three in a row, two really good teams. Is there anything you learned about your club, or what do you make of this? These are fun games to be a part of because you know you're up against a really good team, and, and you can feel that when they're when you're playing them, even though they're going through a little tough time, and obviously they got a couple key guys out. Um, but but you can feel, you know, what they're, you, you can feel their capability. You know, every at-bat's a, a grind. They make you work. Um, you know, obviously they have capable guys on the mound, so... <clears throat> yeah, so it's nice to, to win these games um, when you know you have to play well. Um, but don't look much further than that. Dan, all the way right. How tough a decision was it to put the uh, go-ahead run on in the ninth? Um, it was a decision. I mean, you know, I went out there and um, just felt like you know, the better matchups were slightly the next two guys and, and with the not putting, you know, the walk and play for the tying run, um, just felt like it was the matchup I wanted. Once once he fell behind there, uh, felt like it was the right call. Anyone else? To the left. How about that defense from Luke Voigt? About four, I think it was three or four good plays in the fifth and sixth there. Yeah, uh, it, was, it was really good plays by Luke. Um, really good to see. Um, he works hard at it. He takes pride in it. It's important to him. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like the last couple of weeks he's had a lot of really good picks on the other end in some big spots. And, and tonight, um, some really good plays. Anthony to the right. Aaron, you said you hope everybody takes notice of Stanton's at bat big hits. Is that uh, to the f people in the stands? To the no, I, just you know, sometimes we forget what a good player he is, and you know, I hope they saw those at bats. George, George, Aaron, you got a roster move yet? No. Anyone else? Okay, thank you. Okay.